Hello. Today, I'm going to show you booting Elks Linux on my homemade PC. So for those who have never seen any of my videos, I'm just going to show you the PC real quick. I've got it here in an ATX case. This is a 8088-2 with 512K of RAM and a VGA uh, graphics card. I do have a network card in there. Uh, and with Elks, which uh, I'm showing today, I'm not initializing that. Uh, if I can figure out how to initialize with Elks, then maybe I'll make a video on that. It does boot from a USB drive, and that's what's holding the uh, Linux image. So uh, let's just fire it up. So I'll put in the description the um, web address for uh, the download, uh, the GitHub page for Elks. I, I am not affiliated with them at all. I just been wondering if there is a Linux version that'll run on this on this computer so that's what I found. Now there's a couple of different options on their download page. Uh, I picked this one it's the it's got a fat file system and it has a master boot record. So anyway, you can see it booted up it's got a bunch of notes in there it talks about 820 it says no ports found uh, the Ethernet card I couldn't initialize it. I was reading in some of the documentation briefly. It looks like there is some configuration files. The biggest thing here is the RQ, I think, is messed up. It's got to be a 3 for mine. It might be a 2, but I think pretty sure it's a 3. The net, the NE2K, I've got a car that'll support that. And then uh, it looks like we're running a RAM disk. Um, it's got a whatever we've got going on here. We've got our, well, we've got our hard drive. We've got our... Um, BIOS device drive 80, of course. It's got some notes uh, about the PC type, PCXT. Now, it says it's running a NEC V20, which I found interesting because we're not. But it thinks we are. And, and maybe it's just default, you know, that's what it says. And it does show the proper memory. Now, it talks, the it's got the out kernel. We're running the 0 0.50. Um... It's got some uh, information on the heap, the data, text. Now, I am not like a Linux expert by any means, so some of this doesn't make much sense to me. It does talk about, I did see that it talked about the top of the memory is at 8,000, which is correct in hex. And it's saying we have 371K free. It says 31 megabyte fat format, that's correct. Now, I was playing around in here earlier, and I think this is just a RAM drive. I don't think that the drive that we go into, I'm not sure how to save it to the actual drive yet. So anyway, uh, log in. I just typed root. I haven't made any changes to this. I haven't made any user accounts. No password. Just went right to root. Now, I had to remind myself on some Linux commands, but uh, I also read their little manual. DIR does not work. So you have to do ls, but pwd shows you which directory you're in. We're in the, the root directory. Let's just list it. Oh, so it did say, okay. So we've got this new.txt that I made earlier, and that's in the root directory. So let's just look at the directory for a minute here, and then I'll come back to that file. So cd space dot dot. Unlike DOS, where you don't need the space, you got to include it on Linux. Let's just list the uh, directory. So you can see we've got a small set of directories here. This looks familiar to me from using Linux before. There's there's a few built-in applications on this. Like I say, I just got into this uh, a couple of hours ago, I uh, so I haven't really explored it too much. Uh, most... Most of what's in here, you're, you're going to find in the bin. So it, it's a little bit slow to list. I, I mean, it is an 8088. But in here, you can see some of the uh, programs that, that we can use. We're gonna we're gonna show Kilo here in a minute. That's a text editor. There's another text editor. Vi is a text editor. 
So let's uh the IR does not work. It's just force a habit. So let's go back to the root. So we got this file new.txt. So uh So I just made this text file a bit just a few minutes ago, and I just put test text file here. So this is the the VI text editor isn't quite as um, intuitive. This one's a little bit more intuitive. So in here you've got your um, you can do uh, you can look at some help. It'll give you a list of what commands you can use. You can open a new file, save the file new empty file so let's just uh, exit this let's just add some text here I'm just a arrow key and over I'm just gonna hit control s for save so 21 bytes written to disk and control Q to quit. So the text editor is built in. Um, here's a neat little thing. You type the, the name of the file and it's going to show the first 12 characters or 20 or 10 or 20 characters in the file. So kind of a, an output to the terminal. But uh, anyway, I've, I've looked around. Um, there's no like built-in compilers that I can find so far, like NASAM's not in there, uh, like, now GCC, uh, there's a I-86 GCC that they're showing on their webpage, and I'm wondering if you need to install that, but I uh, haven't found any built-in right off, right off the image that, for compilers. So what you would be able to do here is you'd open a text file, write your code, and then be able to compile it. Um, let's just look just for another minute here. Let's see if there's a, so it's in device. I haven't been here. No, this is just your device list. So anyway, that's just kind of a first look, quick overview of this uh, this Linux. Um, like I said, I uh, I did see that there it is possible to do networking. So if I figure that out, uh, there is Telnet. I haven't even typed that in yet. Let's see if it uh, see if it says it's a file or okay. So it is, it does have Telnet in there already. So. Once we get the network going, we should build a telnet to a server. So, anyway, uh, if you got any good insight on Elks, like I said, I'm not any expert on this at all. I just barely found, I've seen it before, but I finally found a decent download. It's on their GitHub page. But if you got any good insight or any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for checking out my video today.